morning guys um it's currently like 7 20 around there and you can see the sun shining bright so um let me bring you to like the first day of june and also welcome to my june vlog yay okay so i have actually been doing this for like around two days already today's the third day so like i started my um studying schedule for june at the start of this week so today is wednesday right? so it's the third day i'm doing this so what i will do is i will wake up like around 7 and then finish breakfast around 7 30 and then i'll come down um to this seat below my hdb because my mom will be sleeping so it's like weird to study in the room because i have to read out aloud okay you you need to make noises lot and if i make any noises right my mom is gonna it's like a disruption for her for her sleep yeah and then in the living room the auntie is also like using the kitchen and the living room is directly connected to the kitchen so it's like very noisy for me and for for her it's like also a distraction my conclusion is to just come down because there's actually quite a lot of seats here as you can see no one is actually using all these seats so you know i'm just gonna utilize this area right here and also my skin is so bad this few days pimples oh my jesus usually i will use a piece of wet tissue to like just clean up the table before i do my stuff on it actually i've been using this table for like a few days already and like this portion that i use right i, I have cleaned it like for two days already so it's actually quite clean but just to make sure that it's really very clean i will just clean it again as you can see it's still like quite dirty ew yeah anyways i'm gonna set up my table once um the area that i cleaned is dry okay, these few days i've been doing around like three hours of job um here before i go back up so yeah i'm gonna do that oh my goodness guys I didn't bring my job notes down, what the shit and I wanted to I wanted to take out my job notes in my computer I realized where's my job notes? I didn't even bring it oh my god I'm so forgetful bro Um, I'm actually going to sleep right now and just now in the afternoon I went to the bank with my mom like I told my mom everything already about the scam and stuff if you haven't watched like the last month's video basically I got scammed and then I need to change um, my ATM and my debit card password so yeah I haven't told my mom as of like a few days ago but yeah I finally told her and I went um, to the bank with her in the afternoon and I actually like got a bit emotional while talking to her just now and then because I was also wearing contacts like I kept on rubbing my eyes so I think my this eyes is like mm, quite infected like all a lot of blood capillaries have burst inside my this eyes but anyways, I just realized also that today is 六一儿童节, it's like the China's um, children's day. Happy 六一儿童节, yay! Go celebrate and treasure your youth while you can, actually your childhood memories. I don't know, like, um, yeah, I'm gonna sleep right now. It's actually like quite late, 11 plus. It's past like my bedtime that I've set for myself. And I don't know why my face is really bad these few days. Um. Okay, so yeah. This is the Hokkaan. Okay, so hi guys. I'm currently walking home. And then I just want to have like some things to talk about. Because like I was conversationing. Like I was talking to Bowie. And then like we really had a lot of 
experiences in common and then we also have like the same thinking that like you know our lives are actually like so simple that like like when we are 30 years old like for example and we look back to like maybe 18 years old like this year like what do we have like there's literally nothing that we can look back to it's like our lives are so simple and it's not enriching at all that there's nothing to look back to and then we're also like trying to like tell each other like how do we like make our lives more meaningful like before we actually like become an actual like adult and like eventually not have the time to do anything so like our conclusion is just that if there's nothing that we can do now we'll just treasure like the people around us or like the little things that we share in common and also like our families and friends although like not everything is like smooth sailing and maybe like our relationships with our friends are not like the best in our current institutions but yeah we'll just treasure everything that we have right now and as to how we make our 18 years old you know and our lives or uh, like revolving around this year like meaningful i guess we'll just try to like get involved in as like many i don't know activities that we're interested in or we like try to find our goals you know so that like our life is actually meaningful and we're actually working towards something if not now we all just feel like we're just trapped in like this cycle of studying and like working for nothing like literally so yeah my conclusion is just that um first of all work hard yes so that next time when i look back i'll be like oh actually like when i was 18 years old i actually worked so hard like for a levels even though like the results may not be good at least um there's something that i can look back and not regret about my academics and then as for like my social life um i think i'll just try to make the best out of like my relationships with my friend currently and then um when i'm in university uh, maybe i can like find new and more sincere and better friends that can connect that i can connect better with and then also i feel like now it's already like reaching the end of jc so there's nothing much that and reaching events that i can join and also uh, i also don't have the ability to like join like leadership activities or like you know competitions because i don't really have the capability and support also so maybe Either I just um, maybe find events like this in the future when I'm in university or just treasure like the simple things in life right now. Like actually, oh, now I'm actually like having like a good um, living environment that I can study in or like a parent that I can um, talk to whenever I'm like in doubt or I can actually get advice from. And also like actually I always have a friend who I can like seek help from or I can share my stories and problems with. So yeah, I just get to be content with everything that I have now and I'll just not think about anything. I don't give myself a lot of problems or like doubting myself for a lot of things and just go with the flow for now. So yeah, that's like a reflection plus conclusion plus like giving myself um, some ideas and standards um, and like something to look forward to or something like for myself to follow uh, for at least this year and like something that I can look back in the future uh, that of like my opinions and views that I think of now I guess okay so yeah I am like reaching my house right now and um, see you guys next time bye
解百毒去百病。Okay, so um now it's currently like twelve noon, and today is Duan Wu Jie. So my mom told me that there is this there is this thing that says that if you uh like make any drinks out of like herbs or plants on like twelve noon in like on the Duan Wu Jie, it will help you to like 解百毒去百病。So yeah, I need to drink this uh, right now in order for it to work. So yeah, but it's currently like super hot because I just made it. So yeah, hope it works. Hi guys, today we have a special arrangement. So it's currently like nine plus, and I'm eating my dinner because you know why? Like just now, when I was like washing my hair in the toilet. In at around like seven plus, which I was when I was already like、uh, cooking my noodles, um, I heard noises. So like it was the guy who came back, and then I quickly went to my room, and he was in his room when I came back to my room. So I didn't see him, and then so like my noodle was still like cooking under like a、uh, hot water, and it was like sitting in the kitchen for almost like. Uh, two hours now because I just got it. But yeah, it wasn't like super super soggy. I thought it would be like super soft and soggy. Um, but yeah, luckily it wasn't because um I waited all the way until like they actually like went back to their rooms because I don't know why I really don't want to um fa have face to face with um them because I don't know okay with the guy because I don't know what to say or how to. Um, 打招呼 to him, cause like, I don't know. It's like we haven't met in a long time, and like usually we don't talk also. And yeah, so like um yeah, I try to avoid him as much as I can. Oh my goodness, this is quite bad. I try not to be antisocial, but I'm being antisocial. So yeah, ah,、uh, I'm currently eating my um noodles. So my plan is like, okay, not my plan. As in, I've already uh completed um、uh, my. Revision of the day, while waiting for them to like be done with their work and to go back to their rooms. So yeah, for the rest of the day later, like today, um, I'm just gonna enjoy my food and also I'm currently starting searching on like movies. So I'm gonna watch like this movie that uh is about. Okay, I don't know what is it about because I just started watching, but it's. 保你平安 Yeah, I haven't watched this yet, and I don't know what is it about. But it's a CG 犯罪片 so I hope it's gonna be interesting. And this is like the first time that I'm trying to search for Chinese movies because usually I just um watch like some variety shows and stuff like that. Where's the cheese? I thought this would be like cheese meatballs, but there's no cheese inside. Oh, oh my god, it's okay. I added cheese slices inside my noodles, so yep.、And、this is the oh yeah, and this is this noodles which I love a lot. Yes, but I try to not eat it so often. Switch to another Chinese movie called Xin Xi Ju Zhuang because the previous movie was too boring for me.
So I'm really ready to do this. Let's get into the pages for today. All right, here we go. Mandatory three second ASMR. Enough, flipping open to the first page I have for this episode. The directions say, create a page of lyrics. Write lyrics to a song here. Now I just have to choose a song. We have my go-to songs like the Sprinkle song. An angry lemon is an angry lemon. I'm kind of ashamed to say, even more pronounced in this drawing, look at those brows. Whoa! It's as if the longer the song goes on, the more angry he gets. Is it my singing? Yes. Here I go, just finishing up the text on this side, and there it is. Bringing in my Posca, I'm just gonna add some juicy little highlights, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint a nice blue background. Kind of a weird, floaty background with a white gap all the way, way too close in a couple areas. I used my Posca to correct the spacing of the Okay, so I'm at the bar shop with my mom, and we are getting quite a lot of stuff today, so I gotta come here and help her. Okay, so I'm grading like the one thing inside this basket for my mom and she's like currently inside to get some vegetables look at um today's basa okay there's nothing much interesting because it looks like this all the time but oh yeah so we are buying some ingredients to make dumplings later Berry the sauce. Now I can get a gun. Now I can get a gun. Huh? Now I can get a gun. Now I can get a gun. So we bought these two guns for Saifu. Huh? So, um, I'm currently waiting for my, my mom to get all the stuff before we go back and then I was bored so I went around because my clip broke the last time then I went to get another one so um, here it is so the, the new clip is like much looser but I don't know whether I like it or not yes I'll just try it for a few days first oh yeah so bye Okay, so we were blending the meat, right? We should actually be stopping here. But then the auntie kept on blending and blending the meat because she's scared that it's not fine enough. Actually, my mom wanted to use like the knife to chop up the meat at first, but then we found this blender, so it should be faster, right? And it's more efficient. But then the auntie kept on blending the meat that the meat was so fine that we couldn't really taste the meat. So this time, the dumpling making was not a very successful one. So. <laughs> Anyways, into the dumpling making. <laughs> like, it was actually quite enjoyable generally, but something funny is something very funny is that my mom forgot, or like, she doesn't really know how to bow the dumplings. And then she's trying so hard, and I was just laughing at the way that she's making her dumplings. And then you see now she's pouring out everything, and then she's remaking everything again. And look at the bottom left corner of my dumplings, VS. <laughs> her dumplings. Yeah. But anyways, um, it was quite enjoyable, generally. I had a good laugh. And then I realized that my dumplings, I used two... What is that called? two layers of that thing because I didn't I couldn't see so like mine was extra thick because I used two layers of the dumpling um pea so yeah Wow. 
凭什么？我们凭什么民主自信？他写的东西都是从国外写到国内，从国内每个省份的名字，你那都可能你都不明白他们写啥。所以你在中国你容易吗？你要是中国混，你混都不行。It's currently raining, but.
，失败黄金菜没吃五餐，当我三次。哎呦，我饿，吃的。我也我也舍不得。你看情况啊，你自己赚自己吃，又没什么经济压力的时候，偶尔自己喜欢吃好吃的，宠一下自己也没关系。那好过你乱乱花的，好过他是赌场玩的，那你在那吃的面汤都吃的不仔细。你是赌场玩的，钱花没了，那就打了票。So I'm currently at the beach, East Coast Park. Look at the view, it's so oh my god, look at the clouds, it's so fabulous. 我们在那里找到了一只鸡，来买点鸡。哎All right, you guys. So today is Father's Day, and just now the uncle got like a food delivery from his daughter, and then we got some very very nice food right here. So they left some food for me, and they are so appetizing. But actually, I'm not that hungry. But they look super appetizing, and I have some left over. Vegetables from lunch, so I got quite a lot of food to eat, and then also what I have been doing this few days is, look at that thing over there. You see that thing over there? It's like a gigantic um concept map that I did for my organic um chem topics. So yeah, and then besides that, I have also been trying to finish up my revisions because my plan is to um. Firstly, finish the revisions in like the first half or three quarters of the holidays, but I ate finishing because there's a lot of topics to cover. Like it's almost the whole entire two years or like the A level syllabus, which is quite a lot. And I might spill over one or two days to like the last week. But my goal for the last week is to do as much practice papers or. Like practice questions, uh, as much as possible, so that I get enough practice and I can manage the questions that will eventually be coming out for my MIA exams. So I'm not really very confident about completing those much practices because I am going out. I will be going out quite a few days this week. I have only like gone out one day in the first week. With my friend until this week, actually, I haven't been really going out, uh, except with my mom and yeah. But next week, if I'm going out for like quite a few days, I do not know if I can actually finish. So we'll just have to see how. But um, I will enjoy when I go out. But then when I, once I come back, I will really have to mark everything and stuff. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be going out with Nico and. Koshin, I don't know if Tongyan is going or not, but yes, we are gonna sing some karaoke and sing to our hearts' content. Um, because we wanted to like just gather during the holidays for once, but yeah, Tongyan may not be able to go, so it will be three of us instead of the four complete group. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my dinner now. So yes, happy Father's Day by the way. Today is Father's Day. So yes. By the way, TNT is finally back from their Gao Kaos. Like four of them were involved in, like it's kind of like the A levels in China, the Gao Kaos, and they are finally back, and they finally can continue with their programs and everything. And two days ago, they posted like, uh, a vlog kind of after so many months of, of, nothingness. And then yes, I am just so happy. I can finally. Um, be on track, back on track with their programs and everything. And then their videos, yes, I love their videos. And then I'm just very excited for more videos to come out. Also, I don't know if I have told you all, but I watched um, Her Jin Ling's 18th birthday celebration live stream this Wednesday, and it was great. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
小丁。小丁，哎，好的啊，好尴尬，不认识，不熟悉啊，好尴尬，怎么这样啊？Hey guys, okay, so today I will be going out with Nico and Koshin as I have said. So here is my outfit. Oh my god, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but... Oh shit, my bus is coming though, so I need to go. <laughs> shorts that I got, which I never wore before, so this is the first time that I'm wearing this short. And then, um, this pants, I mean not shorts, bruh, shit. And then I'm wearing this cap and then carrying this bag. Oh my god, I don't even... <laughs> Because today I'm going by a swag style, so here is my swag mask, and here is my swag accessories, and here are all my swag accessories. Wait, I need to go soon, but here is how I look. Um, uh. <coughs> so yeah, okay, bye. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, no. Okay, it's touch screen. So use the touch screen to select the songs. Yeah, control music, tuning, control your pitch, your mic, your echo. Uh, you want to sound with the songs? You know, the first one, honey. Yay! Yay! Wow, for the day, I'm going to be here. Things, things up like <coughs> like if you have a lot of stars inside right and you're like not happy and stuff you might just project that on the other but what if someone just comes in someone just in. yeah wow then they do no choice <laughs> <laughs> no but choice so you will you accept it I don't know probably not I know that even if I accept it right, but like there's still a lot of like inner messiness inside, then that's just the What if it's unstoppable? Like, unstoppable? Let me just charge. I don't think anything then? is unstoppable anymore. Like, other than so deep. that time, like, like, I don't think I'm ever gonna do like that anymore. So. Hello people, Hello. welcome to It's see. me, I was I wondering if after, after all these years you'd like to me to go over I'm massive cold a thousand times <clears throat> Okay, so I just did like a practice, like a time trial practice on CQ and then just nice, um, I can actually submit through the Google Classroom. I hope out of these 21 questions, I will be at least getting like a 15 or something. Uh, please, 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 please. Let's view our score. <gasps> what? The 12 out of 21. Oh man. Humongous spider over there. And I don't know what to do with it, so I need to... Get rid of it. Just now it went missing and I was so freaking 
scared and I was panicking the whole entire time, so here, here we go. Yo! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, guys. Look at this. Since they have been coming back, right? After their gao cows and stuff, after their um, breaks, look at the amount of videos they updated in just like 5 days. Look at since 5 days ago, all the way to today, there's so much new videos that we can watch. Since when they came back, right? 8 days, 7 days, 5 days, 3 days, 2 days, 1 day ago, 19 hours ago. Oh my god, this means that they are coming back with more stuff and I have... A lot of stuff to watch. I heard that they are filming like a group, a variety show, and they are writing four more songs, and they are going to have a lot of more um stages and performances. And I'm so happy! Oh my goodness! lunch it was supposed to be like for a cc dinner but then it became a lunch i have to rush to catch the bus because i was trying to do a practice paper and then i couldn't even do like halfway and i had to leave because of this cc lunch and i'm panicking so much because this few days i am not completing the things that i want myself to complete and there's so many things going on oh my god the sun is so bright i can't even see myself and then, guess what? The CC lunch is all the way at like the end of the blue line, almost. My CC members and I are planning to meet at 12.30 and now it's around 11.30 and stuff and I'm heading to a bus stop. I might be a little bit late because I need to take a bus to the MRT and then I leave on the green line and then I have to take MRT to the blue line and then I have to take the blue line, so yeah. I hope I'm not late. It's so pathetic to the point that I forgot to I forgot to cut my nails. <laughs> so I brought a nail cutter along with me so that I can cut my nails later. It's, it's already 11.40 plus and my bus is still not here, I guess. I'm gonna cut my nails then. <laughs> Shit, I'm embarrassing myself in front of the public. If it looks like I'm crying, I'm actually not crying, but I think I might have caught a cold. So uh, my throat started to become like very painful like yesterday and today. And then two days ago, I keep on feeling the urge to sneeze. And then today I had like quite a bad runny nose in the morning. Took the ART test yesterday and today, but both turned out negative. So I'm like really confused. So I have concluded that maybe I really might have caught a cold, like just purely a cold. I'm having like a quite a bad headache now and I am like super duper tired right now. I will probably just sleep early but the thing is I am running out of time for revision and my knee exams starts like right away when school reopens. I do not know if I actually have time to be resting. Uh, so I am very hesitant in what I should prioritize. I will just go by my um, energy level I guess. It's currently like 8 plus only and I don't know, I'm just really tired already. Cubation just now was such a pain because it was actually quite cold. And because this is like the last session of tuition before, my exams um i wanted to like do better in terms of answering the questions that my teacher was going through but then i still wasn't very like fast in answering questions so i'm even more worried about my camp paper so yeah um i'll just see what i can complete today and catch you guys tomorrow i guess 
but this feeling is so uncomfortable because every once in a while I will feel like sneezing but the 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 feeling will go away and then I will begin to tear up and this is so annoying because this happens so frequently and I can't breathe properly right now and my nose like originally already is a bit blocked and then now with this cold I don't think I can sleep at night like I literally I'm going to have blocked nose and I'm just so tired but I guess the feeling is coming again the feeling is coming again <coughs> oh my god Okay guys, so I woke up today. My throat wasn't pain anymore, but it's a bit itchy. And then my right eyes, it's completely filled with blood vessels. So I'm now here at this clinic, um, waiting to be diagnosed. And my mom just left because she needs to go back to cook our meals before she goes to work. And I'm just left alone here. I have my precious bottle of water. <laughs> and then I'm just alone here waiting for my turn to be up. My mom said that like these symptoms right are very um obvious signs of COVID symptoms but like as I've said I tested yesterday and the previous day and it was all negative and then my friend said that when she got COVID like all her home tests were all negative also so she asked me to like come to a clinic to check and my mom also told me to like check to at least get some medicine first because i am actually yeah my throat is not well so at least get some medicines first oh my god so awkward right here oh my god i should find a safe place to wait but yes and this is really bad because i have exams like my exam week is next week today is sunday and i have exams next week and i'm in so dead okay bye <laughs> So, um, I just finished checking and here are some medicines that the doctor prescribed. So basically, because that clinic doesn't have any like COVID tests, I can't like test COVID. So the doctor just asked me to self-check at home and I have MC until Tuesday. Okay, bye. I think I'll just rest at home and continue revision sadly. Okay guys, so today will be like my last revision day because tomorrow my MYE will actually start and then I think that I have 95% like recovered from my um, cold already and I think it's just purely a cold and not COVID because yeah I'm like almost like I, I'm like almost fully okay already oh yeah I think I'm just gonna eat and then Hopefully my MYE will uh, start on a good note tomorrow. So yeah, this week is gonna be like quite a tiring week. So I may not be able to vlog much. So yeah, bye. Okay guys, so today is the third day into my mid-year exams. So I went to take the exams for all of these three days because um, I didn't want to like skip exams just because I had the MC when I already and recovering so yeah I went to school to take all the um, exams on the three days so on the first day I had bio paper 1 and 2 combined which is like a three hours paper and then for Wednesday which was yesterday I had a math paper 1 which was three hours or so bio was okay because actually not that okay but then it's like the more okay ones because all my subjects are not okay and then yesterday was not okay Actually, it was more okay. It was more okay than not okay. More okay than a bit not okay. Wait, does that wait? Does that make sense? A bit. Not wait, actually, it wasn't okay. Like it wasn't okay. Like everything was just not that okay. Then today, I had a three-hour job essay, writing six essays, paper, three hours, 
in the morning for job. I was so burned out. I had to take like another three hours, people one and people two, combined for chemistry this afternoon, and I just reached home. And luckily, luckily, the next paper that I have is next Tuesday, and it's job paper one. And I have my last paper, which is paper two for math next Wednesday, and that's about it for my NYE. And I think I will not do anything else today because now it's around seven already, and I just got home, and I'm gonna eat my dinner, which is right over here. So, and I'm also very tired today, so I'm just going to slack, enjoy my peaceful time, and also the time that I deserve for pulling through these three days of hell. Actually, I don't really deserve because I don't know, my chem was so bad, so bad. My job was okay because I managed to complete the six essays, like actually complete the six essays. I never thought I would complete six essays within three hours, but the quality, um, I can't ensure the quality, but at least I finished the six essays. I think I will be trying to like go out to the library to study during the weekends because I'll probably procrastinate and that's not good. That's my JC life right now. <coughs> I'm actually dying but you know, don't tell anyone like I'm actually dying but you know, um, it's okay. Like yesterday night right, when I was revising for like my chem and job simultaneously, I was like dying so badly. I was like dozing off. But I know that I need to continue studying, if not I can't finish what I need to revise. Continue studying and finish my revision before I sleep. That feeling was so bad because I really need to sleep. I really want to sleep. I really have to sleep. Oh my god, this took so long. Oh my god, I should stop talking. Okay, bye. I just realized today is the last day of June. Which wraps up like my whole entire June holiday and start of my media exams. So yeah, actually, this month passed quite fast too, but I think I managed to enjoy like some parts of the holiday um, with like spending time with my friends um, and stuff, but mainly, I have to say that I put in quite a lot of effort for revision. I, I don't know whether they paid off or not, but definitely worth the time to study and stuff, but maybe I will change the method of studying, mm, maybe for like the next round, which is like the prelims, but yeah, actually. Thanks for watching this month of my vlog. So yeah. <sighs> Life's good, bye. Oh, psych, I'm back. Okay, so here I am. We bring you through a summary of my um, weeks in holidays. Okay, so break week one. As you can see, I listed out like the stuff that I want myself to do for each subject and then you can see my reflections. I'm not gonna go into details, I guess, and you can read on your own if you're interested in the reflections. And then moving on to break week two, I feel like definitely the first week was like the best and the most productive week and as the weeks go by it gets more and more demanding and i'll get less and less productive and also in the reflections i was discussing about like gao cows and how tnt is like in the midst of preparing for their gao cows and then quickly moving on to week three yes again I am starting to like neglect math as you can see I only did one topic for math and I was getting like pretty much anxious about um, whether I can complete my work or not and then finally TNT has also completed their gal calls and then week 4 writes um, geography oh because I kind of finished jog so I didn't really do much of jog and then you can see me having like the cold um, which is when I was like really really tired I don't know whether to prioritize um, studying revision or to rest okay then it was um, the first week of so yeah it was the first week of my MYE and this is what I would like to call a hell week because I had like three consecutive days of papers after papers and each paper were at least like three hours long but by Thursday I was pretty much more relaxed because um the few papers after that is are quite manageable and yeah okay so for another planning that i did i did it on like a daily basis and i used this google 
um shades to do it and as you can see i color coded every subject that i did and this would be the first wig and then um this is the second wig and the third wig and the fourth wig and i have exam week one and this is basically about it i hope you enjoy my vlog this month bye